Hey, here are five stupid things I've noticed since last time. Limbaugh belittles gay marriages at National Cathedral. Last week, conservative radio host and living demonstration of the distinction between sentience and sapience, Rush Limbaugh, sneered at the announcement that the National Cathedral in Washington, D.C. will soon begin hosting same-sex weddings, reminding his audience that the cathedral has been the site of the funerals of great leaders and of the mourning of national tragedies, and chiding so-called low-information voters for treating this as such big news. But... The thing is, Rush, it is big news. I mean, yes, it is largely symbolic. If you break it down, it's one church deciding to hold same-sex marriages from now on. But those kinds of symbolic gestures can have great cultural importance. And you want to talk about national tragedies? How about the way gay people have historically been treated in this country? Thankfully, we're not merely mourning that tragedy. We're actually taking steps, finally, to correct it. And that is big news. Incidentally, the same day that Rush made those statements, and two days after, Rush likened support for gay rights to support for normalizing pedophilia, Newt Gingrich appeared on Fox News Channel to repeat his previously stated position that, despite his personal opposition to same-sex marriage, it's time for the Republican Party to stop living in denial and to accept the reality of legally recognized same-sex partnerships in the United States. When Newt Gingrich's views on gay rights are more progressive than yours, it's time to put down the basket of chicken strips and take a good long look in the mirror. Hobby Lobby fights federal contraception mandate. Hobby Lobby, the Chick-fil-A of the art supply industry. Never mind the ignorance of Hobby Lobby's evangelical Christian owners they are complaining that Obamacare is forcing them to cover emergency contraceptives in their employee health policies, which they claim are abortion-inducing drugs. They aren't. And instead, let's focus on the arrogance of the company owners. Not only are they putting their own religious beliefs ahead of their employees, but they are asserting their right to disobey a federal law because, when you get right down to it, they just don't like it. Now, I'm no constitutional lawyer, unlike the president who enacted the law, but I'm pretty sure that's not how it's supposed to work. Conservatives protest dropping of anti-gay preacher from Obama inauguration. In the wake of complaints stemming from an anti-gay sermon he delivered in the 1990s, evangelical Christian pastor Louis Giglio has voluntarily withdrawn from the program of Barack Obama's second inauguration, where he was scheduled to deliver the benediction. The withdrawal of Giglio has generated the expected histrionic responses from the religious right. For example, Family Research Council leader Tony Perkins and others have accused the Obama administration of being intolerant, and Brian Fisher called those who opposed Giglio's involvement in the inaugural ceremony, quote, bully bigots, who are practicing, quote, fascistic intolerance. Yes, because... Promoting diversity means filling prominent ceremonial roles with people who believe homosexuality should be treated like a mental illness. Well, actually, historically, it maybe kind of does. Gun Appreciation Day. On January 19th, American gun owners are being encouraged by gun rights advocacy groups to turn up at gun shops and shooting ranges to celebrate the Second Amendment. My biggest problem with this is that we not only already have a Gun Appreciation Day here in the United States, we have seven of them. Their names are Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Alex Jones's epic meltdown. Hitler took the guns. Stalin took the guns. <laughs> Mao took the guns. Fidel okay. Castro took the guns. Hugo Chavez took the guns. And I'm here to tell you. 1776 will commence again if you try to take our firearms. Doesn't matter how many lemmings you get out there on the street begging for them to have their guns taken. We will not relinquish them. Do you understand? That's why you're going to fail, and the establishment knows no matter how much propaganda, the republic will <laughs> rise again when you attempt to take our guns. Oh, I can't. I can't add anything to that. <laughs> Piers Morgan gave Alex Jones enough rope, and Jones not only 
hung himself. He tied the rope around his own neck and dove eagerly over the side of the bridge. <sighs> that is something. Uh, Hitler only took the guns from Jews, by the way. Oh, and if the American government is such an evil totalitarian institution, what is a champion of liberty like Alex Jones doing wasting his time promoting petitions on the White House website? The hardest part is only picking five. Catch you next time.